Let's have a look at this pretty backpack and let's teach you how to shop on Amazon and what you should be doing. Whenever I apply, uh, I give people a link uh, on Amazon, I'm very, very picky what links I get. And believe it or not, the majority of the stuff I review, I bought with my own money. Every now and again, I get one that'll send me something. But I usually get about, I don't know, 30 emails a day asking me if I want stuff and I tell them no. I mean, I just take one look at the reviews and the people talking and how they manipulate. And for me to tell you to go buy something, it's 12 bucks, 10 bucks, 50 bucks. I mean, that's just stupid if it's no good, right? It's just me. But I wanted to buy this backpack. So, and I did. I can buy it here for 139 and I save 7%. Or I could go to Kelty's website direct and pay 147 now, the first thing you should be asking yourself, why is it more money on Kelty and why is it less money on Amazon? And then you should ask yourself when you search the internet high and low in different camp stores, like if I look at seven or ten different camp stores, they should have the same price, shouldn't they? None of them did. This guy's the only one. That should send up a red flag right away. A lot of people click the ratings. The ratings do nothing for you when you're trying to get a product. The ratings are just to determine whether or not you're going to buy. And most people will click the negative ratings and then they'll get a general idea of who's real and who's not. But also keep in mind, companies that are their competition will actually pay people to make negative reviews. That goes on too. But down here, you'll see where it says ships from Camp Club or sold by Camp Club. We don't see anything. It says Amazon, do we? Nothing. So we're dealing with Camp Club directly if we want to send something back for our money to get our money back. When you're dealing with shit like this, oh, you're going to go through two weeks of hell and you're not going to get your money within, you know, three or four hours like Amazon does the refunds. Not when it's this. This is private. Okay. Then if you actually go into over here and I've clicked on the one star, um, notice what it says here. Ordered the backpack for an up and coming trip. Order was canceled without notification or, explain, or explanation of why it was canceled. So they're doing what's called drop shipping. And they are operating on a very, very tight budget. I mean, they're literally making a dollar to five dollars on a product when they sell it. So they couldn't get a hold of the product he ordered because something happened. They didn't want to offer him a different color or anything. They don't even want to talk to him because they know they were a fucking asshole. But he's been refunded, so shut up and leave me alone. And that's what it is. This is the type of client you're dealing with. And you have to look at it like that. You say, what kind of client am I going to be dealing with? Now, as soon as this gets to be over fucking 3%, I mean, it's crazy. How could you not just mail a product and package it somewhat decent? I understand the odd one getting messed up. But 7%? That is high. That is ridiculously high. Let's look at another product. And you should buy this. And I'll give you a link in the description. This thing is a Sawyer product. It's a Picardian, Picard, I can't say it. But it is the best for mosquitoes. There is nothing out there better. Okay? Let's get that, get that into your head right now. And this only works on skin. You can't put it on your clothes. So don't start spraying it all over your chest and down your arms if you've got long sleeves on. No. Okay? If you wear a head net, don't spray it on your face. The, the net's protecting your face. So only spray it where there's flesh. And that's why you only need like a little three ounce container in your, in your pack. But what do you do if you got clothes? I have videos that talk about permethrin and how I prepare my clothes, my pack and everything. I'll try to remember to link to those videos and get you to check it out. But there are only two type of chemicals you should need. Permethrin and picorian. Picoridin? I'm never going to be able to say it. And somebody's going to correct me in the description. <laughs> so these are the only two you need. So for seven bucks, because you got a 28% spring deal right now, you're going to love me if you go and buy this. And, you know, you spray it on your kid's arms, your kid's face, tell them to close their eyes. And this is only on the skin. And this works for about, they say eight hours. I find it works for about maybe six and a half hours. It does do a good job. Okay. But notice... Ships from, sold by. Look at that. Both Amazons. You might as well look at that 
as a gold that should be a big gold icon it says approved by amazon because you'll get refunds you'll get anything you want with that product you will never be screwed and that's gold right there how about another one how about a water bottle look at this shipped sold by they're both coming from amazon can't fail right what do the reviews say on this one if we click on the viewers and this is so funny look at this my these are negative reviews by the way my order was supposed to include an easy slipper slipper zipper adapter but it was not included in, that's bullshit i've been buying those bottles for years it's never had a zipper so i have no idea what this is unless somebody paid them to do this okay come down here not worth the hefty price nothing extra looks fragile not worth the hefty price can easily get cheaper bpa free water bottles at the dollar store you go buy from that piece of shit store as far as i'm concerned i have not bought anything my wife will go there and buy shit and within a month it's broke and i'll look at her and go why why waste your money there because you thought you were getting a deal it felt so good spend two dollars instead of spending six dollars of something to last you 10 years compared to something to last you six months it makes no sense women are so easy to convince into buying cheap stuff and that statement there is such bullshit i have had those water bottles for years years and uh you know i've fallen out on my thrown my backpack down they've fallen up but they've never broke Heck, I designed my packs around them so they so I can put them on my waist. It's just ridiculous. How about this? These are darn tough socks. They are amazing. Okay, I have ordered two of these that'll come in this week. So that's fifty dollars for two pairs of socks. But there is something to darn tough socks that no other socks has. And I have been wearing darn tough socks for twenty years. That's a long time. It's the only sock I wear. And the reason is, is how it's made up. It's made up of 61% merino wool, which means when your feet sweat, and your feet sweat a lot when you hike, it sucks up that sweat. So it takes the sweat away from your feet, which in turn helps to prevent blisters and other things. 30, 37% nylon. Well, what's that do? That helps your feet to dry quicker. You take off your shoes and just sit down for 20 minutes or so, your, your socks will be dry. And then we have light crest brandex. Might as well say spandex. It gives it a little bit of stretchy. If the stretchy comes out of this, they'll give you a new pair. I've had pairs of socks where I had paint on the bottom when I painted a room. And I sent the socks in saying there was paint on the bottom. I did not expect to get a pair. And they sent me a new pair of socks. Not, well, not a new pair. They sent you a voucher that's the same price as the socks. And then you can use it on anything. If you want, get a different colored sock. They don't care. It's amazing. I've sent socks in where over here across the bone of the foot all started stretching where it was thinner there, but not in other places. And I'll send it back saying thinner on top and usually within a couple weeks, boom, I get the coupon to get another one. So it's almost, it, it is like, I, I always have brand new socks is what I have. And it's amazing. If you have not gotten yourself a pair of those, go get one pair and see what I'm saying. Just don't lose one, because if you lose one, it's no good. you got to have both together. So if you're the type of person that loses socks all the time, well, then don't get those. But it ships from Amazon, but it comes from the Deborn De De Supply Company. You can look up who it's sold by and get an idea of whether or not you should deal with that person. I mean, Dearborn is darn tough socks. So, But because it's shipped from Amazon, I have no worries. I got the one sticker seal. It's what I call it. So if I decide to do a refund or if there's a run or there's something wrong and I hit refund, literally I drop it off at the post office. Next thing you know, within an hour, they credit my account. And I always go for credit because I'm going to spend the money there anyways. So they credit my account within an hour or two. I'm not sitting there waiting two weeks for them to receive it. Okay. Now, like I said, with this guy, with Mr. Camp Club over here, and I've made the mistake of doing this with these guys before. I bought a pair of winter gloves once. And when I bought them, they really didn't fit. They were pretty tight. And they didn't have right and left. It seemed like they were both right. And it was an army surplus guy. I thought I was talking to, it was somebody who didn't speak very good English. And uh, I said, look, I need a refund. They don't work. And when I said, I says, well, they're too small. They don't fit. Oh, too small. Oh, we, 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 we refund because it's too small. 
what, you need a specific reason? When I have only had them one day? But it didn't have the Amazon seal. But they do have to follow the Amazon rules. Yes, you're going to get your refund. It's going to take a couple of weeks. It's not going to happen in one day. It's the slowest bloody refund you've ever seen. It's almost like they're punishing you. But if you want a guarantee that you're going to have no problem with refund when that product arrives, because anything can happen in the mail. You know, things get broke, things get banged around, people step on them, angry post, post people get pissed off and kick them across the room. I mean, it's just the way it is. This is life. And when you see Camp Club, Camp Club, or any other company for that matter, if you don't see an Amazon seal here, okay, and that's what I call it, don't buy. If you can get the double uh, Amazon seal, like this, where it ships from and sold by, it's gold. Like say this thing arrives to me and it only comes half full. Okay, and I bought two of these for both of my different packs. I'll buy one one day and wait a couple days, and then I'll buy another one if I know I'm going to buy two. That way, when they come in, I can put them side by side and give them a shake and see if they've got the right amount of uh, repellent in them. That's just what I do. But when shopping Amazon, look for the seal right here. And make sure ships from Amazon sees there, because if it don't, Dangerous waters, very dangerous.